Hey, this is Annette's Astrology Corner, and this is your daily horoscope reading for May 12th and energy reading. Um, this is a Tuesday, and I just want to talk about the energy because I've sat with it here for a while, and I'm feeling a lot of turmoil in today. When I feel these days, um, when I used to write them out, um, I used to really connect with the energy and know how to route energy to where even though we're having difficult aspects during the day, we know how to work with these aspects to achieve the highest energy vibration possible for that day anyway. So let's talk about today because the first thing I always like to look at is where the moon is and where the the sun is and how they are um, being aspected and that lets me know a lot about you because if let's say if your sun is is aspected in a very negative vibration or lower vibration then you know you're just not going to feel good deep down and you, you know you're just not going to feel confident you're not going to feel self-assured um, to move forward with something that you want to and so I like people to know about that energy and then your moon is your emotions and so it's really important to know how you are feeling every day how the energy is pushing you emotionally because your emo humans make emotional based decisions they just do it's it's part of being on this earth and having the human experience so it's really important to know what position your moon is in every day and then how it's being aspected so you can deal with the day that's coming so your sun is afflicted today it's going to be squared off by jupiter in leo so the sun in taurus is going to be squared by the jupiter in leo this to me suggests that your thoughts about stability need to be something that a Taurus really grinds their feet into but Jupiter wants to push you wants to push your situation wants to say I know you need stability but you need to take a risk here you need to take a risk you need to get creative you need to put yourself out there and you need to just change your whole life and you need to do it with a Leo type of enthusiasm but Taurus and Leo energy are completely different you know, Tauruses make very slow decisions based on stability, and your Jupiter, your Leo just goes for it. They don't need stability to make a decision. They're confident enough to know that they're going to change that situation no matter what. So this, your sun today is afflicted. Your sun feels like it should be going someplace, but the Taurus energy is saying, I know I should probably, you know, go this certain way, but guess what? That doesn't feel good for me that doesn't feel like a solid rock solid risk that I'm gonna take your moon your moon is gonna be in Pisces sorry my dog was itching and it drove me insane um anyhow um your moon is still in Pisces this is a very sensitive highly intuitive position for this moon and so you don't just get a Go into the world and just make decisions that don't use your spidey senses. I like to think of a Pisces moon as people who have just these spidey senses that tingle when either danger is near or when good things are about to happen or they have a really psychic connection with somebody that they know that they just have this like ultimate soulmate connection. I mean, that's your spidey senses going up and that's where your moon is going to be today. And so your moon is sextiling pluto in capricorn wow what an energy this means a regeneration a rebirth this means a renewal in your energetic um connection to your unconscious thoughts this is a breakthrough this is a breakthrough in something that emotionally has been holding you back and you when you get this breakthrough, Pluto then goes, there was a death, and then there, there starts to become a regeneration in this day. This is a wonderful aspect for the sweet, sensitive Pisces moon. 
It doesn't matter if you have a Pisces moon, although if you do have a Pisces moon today, you are just going to experience this enlightening experience more so than anybody. And this is a really wonderful aspect for any Pisces, rising Pisces sun sign or Pisces moon sign. Um, this is just a wonderful, wonderful energy. You're going to get blessed today. There's going to be a regeneration of some sort within your emotional capacity to feel strong and, and confident in who you are and being authentic to who you are. Now, at the same point, see, Jupiter's just in a bad mood. Jupiter's just raising all kinds of hell. And in this in this position, um, Jupiter is going to be quincunxing the moon in Pisces. So again, you know, Jupiter's really, really impatient in Leo. It really wants to be flamboyant. It wants to put itself out there. It wants to be extravagant. And this Pisces moon is a wise moon. It's a very empathetic moon. And so maybe there's something that pushing forward um, doesn't just feel quite right to this moon. And maybe this moon knows more than Jupiter. But Jupiter's like, I don't care. You got to do it my way. So your sun and your moon are opposing this mighty, mighty, mighty energy. When Jupiter gets mad, any energy has a low vibration. And in this case, Jupiter doesn't like being restrained, held down, told no. It doesn't like it. So you're going to have this, this really strange situation come into your life today. But listen to your intuition. Listen to your gut instinct. Um, does it really sound too risky? If it's too risky, it probably just, you know, flat out is too risky, you know? And, um, that's not going to bid well with this Taurus energy. Taurus wants to give you a strong and stable foundation. It wants you to manifest something off of something you can stand on for the rest of your life. Jupiter energy isn't like that. Jupiter's like, let's just rock this right now. Let's just go for it 110%. And if we fail, we fail. We'll throw the dice again and we'll be on to the next big break, right? But that's not the way that it works with this highly intuitive moon of yours, and this um, sun in Taurus. So there's going to be a conflict at some point, and an interpersonal one, definitely. Now, um, one thing I like is still Mars, in, I mean, still Venus in Cancer is still training Neptune in Pisces. So there's a dreamy, dreamy thing that you're thinking about. Your idealist, your your idolizing just some very romantic thought process. Maybe you've been working on thinking about upgrading your appearance. And so you are just, I don't know, you're trying to make all these plans to just revive who you are. Um, when you combine the fact that Venus is in Cancer with Neptune and Pisces, and then you have this, this moon in Pisces, this is a lot of water energy and and so this is diving deep. This is this is just filling you up. This is all this beautiful water energy flowing into everybody. Nobody can resist this. So even if you have an Aries moon, it doesn't matter. That Aries moon is going to soften up and you're going to see the sweet side of even a dominant Aries moon. This is a feminine energy flowing into all of you. No matter, you don't have a choice to feel it. So you guys are going to be thinking about love, romance. You guys are going to want to be thinking about um, partnering up with somebody. Maybe somebody from afar has just been so far out of reach, but now you feel compelled to pull that person toward you. You are confident. You know that you can have this. There's Your spidey senses are telling you, this is the one for me. This is a pairing energy. It's, a, it's also a very good energy for money making. If you want to tap into something about money, think about your ideal money situation. Make a vision board during this time. This is great vision board energy because you are intuitive 
You have a connection with the universe. And so anything that you put on this vision board is going to be ultimately guided for the best situations as far as in love and money and partnering. Partnerships, partnering doesn't have to mean a love interest. It can mean um, collaborating with people, collaborating with people on a level that is going to bring longevity to your situation. You know, inviting people that inevitably will get you ahead in life in you know a career aspiration or in romance or maybe they'll introduce you to somebody who will inevitably be that romantic partner for the rest of your life it's just a beautiful energy um there's also an, a neat energy i want to talk about too and that is even though jupiter's in a really bad mood um jupiter in leo is going to be training uranus so uh, when i see that that Jupiter and Leo is training Uranus and Uranus has been, I mean, and Leo's been pissed off and because it's, it's being, it's being questioned. I see this as not being a very benefic energy. I see this as being a little kid that's up there in the heavens, stomping his feet around and saying, I want my way. This has to be my way. And so uh, something unexpected may come out of this energy, an unexpected um, result from somebody. Um, you know, you may have an encounter with somebody. Now, mind you, Mars is in, you know, is in Gemini. So this could be some sort of verbal altercation with somebody. Just let it ride. Just know that Jupiter's up there throwing a big fat tantrum and because it's not getting its way. Jupiter is a benefic energy, but at a low vibration, it's a monster. It's a little stinker up there. So just keep that in mind. And um, the energy that I want to talk to you, um, you about, the last part of the energy, is the moon in Pisces is going to be squaring Mercury in Gemini. And then Neptune in Pisces is going to be squaring Mercury in Gemini. When this happens, and, but you've got Venus and Cancer training Neptune in Pisces. Your spidey senses are going to lead you in a direction, and I want you to intuitively tap into them. If you have rose-colored glasses on about something, it's going to come out. It's probably going to be through something having to do with your past as well as something having to do through a, a conversation that you're going to have some, with somebody. So maybe, you know, you were idealistic. I mean, you're idealizing like this wonderful person and maybe then you called them back up and maybe it was just this like hot mess of a conversation and you're like, what was I thinking? Why would I even talk to that person? I mean, I'm getting the feeling it could be something like that. Let your intuition guide you. Okay. If, Sit with the energy, sit on it, and if it feels strong, even for people who are disconnected from this type of energy, who don't have a lot of water influences in them, feel this energy down to your core, and I think you're going to get a really good connection as to whether or not you should move forward with that energy, or whether or not you should just let it pass by because you don't want this, this little messy thing going on in your life, which could very well happen today as well. So I look forward to talking to you again tomorrow and thank you so much for watching my daily forecast.